you boys could go towards fresh fields, me and Sophie will get on the bridge. These officers are racing to intercept a vehicle believed to be involved in organised crime. Yeah, just in case they come in the other way and we miss them, then you boys can get him before he actually gets into fresh fields. We're on board with Sergeant Ed Wright and his team from Operation Sentinel, Suffolk Constabulary's dedicated unit trying to disrupt the criminal gangs using the county's roads for their trade in drugs. Vehicle moves into lane one. We've got two vehicles for cover. They've caught up with the vehicle on the A14 near Newmarket and are waiting for other police units to catch up so they can stop it. Vehicle is off, off, off at Tottenham. Yeah, vehicle's failing to stop, failing to stop. But just seconds later, the suspect pulls over. It did make a sudden increase in speed, but it is now stopped and looks like it is complying. Just be very aware. Keys out of the ignition. Keys out of the ignition. Great. Have you got a driving license for me, please, mate? You're disqualified. The man has told the officers he's Albanian, one of many from the Western Balkans these officers are encountering as they disrupt organised criminal gangs. We're going to be searching you and your vehicle, yeah, but the fact that you're a disqualified driver as well fits with the MO of um, OCG groups in this vehicle, all right? Is there um, anything that you have either on you or the vehicle that's going to harm us or anything that you shouldn't have? Oh, I've got a standing knife and a knife for... Uh, Just a standing knife. Board. Having stopped the vehicle, the driver is now detained and the Sentinel teams are beginning a search of the car. They're expert at this, they know what they're looking for. And what they're looking for is anything that's potentially connected to the drugs trade. It doesn't take them long to find it. Basically, the, uh, all the equipment you'd need to set up your own little grow, in effect, for a cannabis sort of factory. So you've got flexible tanks, you've got obviously the early stages, growing the seeds, fans for the circulation. Is this what you're seeing time and again increasingly now, like, like other forces that the Albanian organised criminal gangs are moving into yeah, these areas? Yeah, no, they are. They, they certainly seem to be on the up. Um, they seem the, the dominant ones at the moment. This is a highly impressive unit. In the past year, these officers have recovered drugs to the value of almost a million pounds and arrested more than 500 suspects. The posters in the office provide a graphic illustration of the growing involvement of Albanian criminal gangs in the drugs trade. Of the nine recent convictions, seven are Albanian. I'm very concerned about it. I want to make it quite clear I'm not saying that all Albanian people are bad because clearly they're not. But the reality is there is a disproportionate level of Albanian criminal gangs operating in East Anglia and in Suffolk. With the Albanian suspect in custody, they're checking properties in the area he's known to have visited, looking for any signs of a cannabis farm. Then suddenly they find what they're looking for in an upstairs flat, rooms full of cannabis plants, 150 in total. They would eventually have yielded £150,000 in street level sales. It's big business. The drugs trade fuels so much of the violent crime plaguing towns and cities across the country. A lot of crimes can be tracked ultimately to drugs. So people commit burglaries and robberies often to fund a drug habit, shoplifting to fund a drug habit, breaking into cars to fund a drug habit. With that becomes violence when people can't get the drugs that they're addicted to. Back in Newmarket, as their patrols continue, the teams have stopped another suspicious vehicle. The men inside are from the Balkans, this time Bulgaria. One has been arrested in the past for drugs offences. You're a disqualified driver in this country, you can't drive in this country. Without insurance as well, it's one vehicle that won't be taking to the roads again anytime soon as it's now been seized. But for the teams of Operation Sentinel, there are many other vehicles, many organised criminal gangs continuing to use the roads to ship their drugs and fuel misery and violence. Mark White, GB News, Suffolk.